There's a metaphor for America here in Carlock, Illinois. The sign outside town says 600. The small town where Democrats and Republicans are so divided they can't even stand to be buried next to each other. Occasionally we get people who drop in and they say, where is that Republican and Democrat cemetery? Local well, historian Nola Marquardt says Carlock's Democratic Cemetery got its reputation in 1884 when this tombstone was erected in memory of Abraham W. Carla. It has the famous words inscribed on it. Here sleeps the old Democrat. He picked it out, he bought it, he paid for it. He, that's what he wanted. Less than a mile away on this old country road. It's called the Benson and then, of course, the Republican Cemetery. The rival Benson family started its own Republican Cemetery. The Bensons truly were for the most part Republicans, and we know that Carlock was definitely a Democrat, no question. But back then and now, Democrats and Republicans are known to have crossed the aisle when they crossed over. Let me say one thing, that even in the very earliest times, there were Bensons buried here. Each of these grave markers represents, first and foremost, an American somebody who was a member of this tight-knit community who wished to be buried, surrounded by the family and friends who loved them. You want to be buried with the people that you knew. While the reputations of Carlock's partisan plots have stuck around for more than a century. In some senses, it's a myth. The history really reveals political divisions here might not be so set in stone. In Carlock, Luke Clary, WQAD News 8.